a wise man will never marry a woman who do these seven things i understand the fact that there is no perfect man or woman anywhere but but trust me you don't want to marry a woman that when you close from work you are afraid of going home mm -mm. marrying any of this woman is going to be disastrous trust me the number one on my list is a woman that can be controlled easily or should i say an indecisive woman people will discuss something before you know it, she will tell you that she has changed her mind. Someone that her friends can easily influence her. They are the types of women that you people will say, okay, honey, we are going to do this. Then you go to work. Next thing, she will call her mother and tell her mother, okay, oh, look at what we want to do. Then her mother will give her her own opinion. And trust me, she would want to take her own mother's opinion to your own or she will start arguing with you. Let's do it like this. Whereas you both have discussed and agreed on something. She will tell you, okay, I'm going to do this. Then later she'll tell you, eh, I, I won't be able to. She, she can't just say things and stand on them. Try your best to stay away from such women. The number two on my list is, is a disrespectful woman. You see, any woman that shows you any sign of disrespect, well, you guys know better. Men love to be respected. Even though respect is a two-way street. But any woman that does not respect you, whenever she gets angry, she starts, she yans dust. Like, she calls you names. She tells you to, she shuts you up because she's angry. She tell you, or she, she tell you, sit down or shut up when you are arguing or she calls you names. Do not say she will change when you marry her. Trust me, she's never going to change. And once you accept it, once she has, and once she has done it once, expect to see it over and over. And trust me, no man wants to be disrespected. No matter the, no matter his age, no matter his tribe, no matter his race, no man wants to be disrespected. And if you want to have a happy marriage, marriage, a woman that will respect you, submit to you, you need to avoid a woman that is very, very arrogant, a woman that is very rude and disrespectful to you. The third one on my list is the type that compares you with your friends. With your friends. Probably don't have a car. She's already telling you, when are you going to buy a car? Buy a car now. But Chike, your friend, has a car. Eh? Must you bid house first? Buy a car. Eh? Eh? She, probably she will tell you something like um, she, that she wants to buy hair. And she will, maybe she will start telling you that her friend's boyfriend bought her human hair of 400 or 500 of these. As in, she tries to find a way to compare you with other people. Not only that, it might even be the way you dress. She will tell you, can't you see how your neighbor dresses? Can't you see how, uh, can't you see how Nene's friend, uh, Nene's boyfriend dresses? Can't you see the kind of jean your friend wears? Why are you always wearing this kind of... <laughs> it might look simple or it means nothing to you now. But trust me, you're going to start picking on that later. The next on my list is a woman who doesn't care about what you do for a living. Like, you've, you've been spending on her. You've been buying her gifts. You've been taking her on luxury dates. But she has not tried to... Probably she has asked you, what do you do for a living? You tell her, probably, okay, let me just say, you told her you are... An, you told her that um, that you are a forest trader. You understand? Or you just say, I do business. And she didn't try to dig deeper. This guy that is spoiling me, this guy that is spending money on me, this guy that has fleets of cars in his garage, what does he really do? She has not made attempt to find out or she has not tried to like come close to you when you are on your laptop to check is he really a forest trader or he's doing the other one? You understand? You go to work, she has not tried to say, can I come to your office? Can I come to your shop? You know, no interest to know what you are doing for a living. So far you are spending on her, she doesn't really care. Bro, you should you should know better. You should know better. Another type of woman you should you should not marry if you want to have peace in your marriage is the one that has that she has different opinion about life or she has different value totally. Like you both are the opposite of each other. Probably she's the type that she likes partying, she loves clubbing. It's possible you met her in church. You know you know but you get to know that she likes partying and you don't like a woman that parties or a woman that smokes or you do the smoking she doesn't like women that that's that uh, smokes or the type that is always like i want to hang out with the boys you're always with the boys no you don't you don't know how to stay on your own without hanging out or spending time with the boys and she doesn't like such a like once the complaint is coming that's okay you uh you smoke a lot 
Why must she always go to party? Must she always go for party? Must she always club? Or you you don't like her mode of, or you don't like that she parties, or she's always like I want to go out with the girls and stuff like that. Once you people don't, once your values or your opinions about life does not align, it's going to be a problem. Trust me, it's going to be a big problem. It's going to be a problem, a big one at that. Trust me. Next one on my list is when she's a liar she's just so dishonest she will tell you a and she will do b she will tell you she's going to the to the salon you will see her in the market she will tell you that she's sleeping then your friend will call you i saw your girl at the restaurant she's just not straightforward how can you entrust your family how can you entrust your finances with such a person you need a woman who is honest enough, a woman who has integrity, a woman who, who tells you that she is here and you find her there. You don't need a dishonest, a dishonest girl. You might feel if that's how girls do, that's how they lie. You say lie. You don't need such a man. You don't need such a woman. Trust me. Another woman that will give you headache in marriage is a woman that um the type that is not supportive. She doesn't support your dreams. She doesn't really care. Probably something is going on in your life. She don't really care about your in debt. Something like you need that support, emotional support, your dream support, career support. Let's say something happened in the office. She can't even look at you and read that. Oh, this guy, I think something is bothering him. She can't even you can't even tell her that okay, well, I have an interview for a new job and it's on Tuesday. Tuesday passed. She didn't ask you what's up. Wednesday passed. Mm -mm. She didn't ask you how did it go? She didn't even call you. So have you gone? All she cares about is your money. And you think you want to marry that person have peace of mind? She just don't care about she just don't care about you 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 personally she just cares probably she just a selfish person who cares about herself and personal gains from you so guys that brings us to the end of this video i have to go now my baby is is here dragging me i guess you saw her hand in the video so i have to go now if you find this video interesting don't forget to smash the like button um if you want to see more videos from me don't forget to subscribe you know and, and turn on your notification bell so that each time i upload a new video you want to be notified don't forget to share the video to support me and um I'll see you in my next one. Until then, stay blessed and stay safe.